Hello, it's Nagot here, and we're the tier list. Uh, this is basically the same tier list I use for the top day 7. Not top day 7, top 38 tier this video that I did, like, about a month ago. Or, yeah, about a month ago. As if Kong came out. Well, that was actually two weeks ago, by the way. But, I'm going to do it. I I recently watched Goji Fan's 1993's video. I did tune into the live stream near the end, but I didn't see like the whole video. So I recently watched his video, and his tier list is very different to mine. So you know what? I'm gonna try to make a tier list similar to his, but I included the numbers of some in it. So, yeah. but his tier list is very different from most people's tier list. I don't know. I'm gonna make try to make a tier list similar to his, and I'm also not gonna go by least favorite to favorite. I'm just gonna go by movie, so I need some of the. I uh, uh, no. <laughs> I just like making a video like that. Hopefully, Coach Fan Night Three is not watching. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, 1954. I love this movie. Yeah, that's automatic S. That's an automatic S for me. Yeah, I, I love this film. What can not be said about this film hasn't already been said before. It's easy one of the best films in the franchise. You need it's a much watch film. You have to watch this film. It's so dark and serious. And the only problem I have with the film is mostly the Godzilla puppet. It does look kind of cheesy in some shots. But for the most part, I love this film. It's perfect in every way. I love it. And I'm also going to probably sort this out once I'm done with this year list. Yeah, I love this film. Yeah, I love it. S tier. They'll probably be at number three, to be honest. 10 out of 10 for me. It wins again. Oh boy. I'm gonna get a lot of hate for that, but I like this film. I don't know what is it with Godzilla Reigns again, but I like this film. I just don't know what it is. I don't know what it is with this film. I just love this film. Yes, it's an underwhelming sequel. Yes, it's not as good as the original, but I still care for this film. I still think it's a good film. I overall enjoy it, and the message that it has is good. I do enjoy the characters in this film. Yes, I'm not as good as the original, but I do enjoy the characters. They're serviceable. I enjoy these characters. The characters you want to remember, I do care for these characters. And Anguirus himself is cool. I I just love this film. I like, well, not love, but like this film. I think it's good. It, it's a good film. King Kong vs. Godzilla. Oh boy. Very different from Chris. I like this film. I wouldn't say I love it. Let me put that over there. I wouldn't say I like. I wouldn't say I love it. There are some problems. It is a bit too cheesy, in my opinion. A little bit too cheesy. Not that much. It's a little bit too cheesy in some areas like it could have been improved on a little bit <laughs> just a tiny bit but i will enjoy this film it's a good film it's a good film in my opinion it's a really good film and the metaphors and the stuff about newspaper and news outlets, it's pretty good. I overall enjoy this film, and it doesn't take itself seriously. And the kaiju fights, easy the best kaiju fights in the entire franchise. One of the best, along with also a lot of the fight in this movie. It's pretty cool. This one too. I don't mind Godzilla Reigns again. It's a good movie. However, Alpha vs. Godzilla, S, S tier. 
I have so much nostalgia for this film. I have so much nostalgia for this film. It's... I just... I just love this film. I have so much nostalgia for this film. It's one of my first cousins of the films I ever saw. It holds a very special place in my heart for being the first cousins of the film that I saw. And it will always hold a special place in my heart. I wouldn't say it's in my top 10. Probably in the top 12. But it's, it has a very special place in my heart for being the first cousins of the film I ever saw. And I just love this film. I love everything that is about this film. It's easy the best of the show ever. I don't agree with Chris with that, saying it's the worst of the show ever. And yes, I will agree with Chris on this. Him getting beaten by two turds does make me cringe a little bit. That is a little frustrating that he gets beaten by two carpenters. But if it was... I didn't mind. I didn't... But at least the fight before that was pretty good. Because I was fighting Martha. At least that was good. At least that fight was good, but the fight with the Calpitas, yeah, that, that was a bit annoying. That was a bit annoying. I will admit that did, that is a bit annoying. <laughs> they got beaten by two thirds. I will admit that. But I still love this film. And the characters I do care for, they're amazing. I love the characters in this film. The soul memorable, the memorable characters. I love every character in this film. <laughs> The villains are amazing. Uh, maybe the villains. They're kind of meh. They're probably the only downside to this film. I think it's mostly the main cats I like. I don't know. I just love this film. Yeah. I don't know what it is. But it's, I love it. It's, it holds such a pleasure place in my heart for being the first cause of the film I ever saw. It will always hold a soldier place in my heart. I just love this film. Uh, how do I scroll down? There we go. The Drawer Three Headed Monster. I like. I like the Drawer Three Headed Monster. I think it's. Okay, the first five short films are the only good films in the freaking. or the only good short films. Not including the Mechas of the RG. I do enjoy those. But everything after Godot from 1965 to 1973, that's the dark ages of the short era. That is the dark age of the short era. That is when the short era went to shit for me. That is the Dark Ages, and I know a lot of show fans are going to hate me for that, but that is the Dark Ages for the show ever. It is the pinnacle. It is the dark times for the show ever. It's pretty much the dark era for the show ever. It's not as entertaining for me. It's pretty boring. Pretty meh. A lot of them are pretty much duds like to be honest if i have to be honest i think i do not like show her from like 65 to 1973 they're gonna be yeah i just don't like them <laughs> both that said good old the head monster i enjoy it. it's a good film i'll probably be that number 16 that's so. Seventeen. Aren't you not thinking about it? Now thinking about it. No, I wouldn't put it. I wouldn't put it for S tier. I don't think it's that good of a film. But it's a good film. I do enjoy it. It's not my most we watched short film. I think King Kong vs. Godzilla and Mothra vs. Godzilla my most we watched along with the Met Godzilla the RG. Those are my most watched short films along with 1954. King Kong, the Godority Hidden Monster I watched. It's also, I would say, is my most we watched short film. I think the only 
once I like we watch you know the first five and like a so the Audrey, I just don't like you watching 1965 to 1973 so yeah not my favorite but good lord the amount so enjoy it's a fun film it's a good film i do enjoy this one it's one of my favorites i will always love this film it's peak showa i wouldn't say it's good as these two but it's peak show up for me. It can't be said for Invasion of Ash Monsters because, oh boy. Hmm. I'm going to get a lot and a lot of flag for this. Uh, yeah. I'm going to get a lot and a lot of flag for this, but. Yeah. I dislike this one. The same can be said for pretty much most of the show. Uh, uh, yeah. Ever Horror to Deep, I just hate. Son of Godzilla, hate. Shroyal Monsters, dislike. Godzilla's Revenge, Time of Dasa. This is Zizor, Atomic Disaster. This is Gigan. This, like. This is Megalon. This, like. Like, pretty much. But here's my reasoning. Invasion, let me just get to most of these films. But Invasion of the Astro Monsters is such a disappointing letdown. It's such a disappointing letdown from the previous film. It is so. Yeah, I just don't love this film. It's just such. A disappointing last down from the past five short films, and it's easy at the turning point because of the franchise, and the sh well, particularly the show because it went way. It's just so boring. With besides Nick Adams' character Fuji and the resilience, none of these characters are interesting. None of them got my eye. Besides Akira Takawada's character Nick Adams. The Azulians. The Zillions are cool. I will admit that. Even I'm, when I mean the Zillions, I'm also including the Zillion check. But most of them are cool. I just don't. Yeah. I just don't like this film. It's just boring to me. I just don't understand the love this film gets. It, it's not my favorite. It's not. It's just boring. The final battle's boring. Nothing much happens in the final battle, and the final battle in space. In the battle in space, nothing much happens. It's just boring to me. And so that could be the same for the Shroud Mon. Maybe I'll have a hold. Ever hold a bleep? I hate. Ever hold a bleep? I. It. it is so goddamn boring. It's so boring. I, I'm not gonna lie. I am, of course. I watched it this film. <laughs> yeah, this film is just boring to me. I just don't like it. Yeah, I just don't like it. I just don't. I just hate it. No, this no. Son of Godzilla. Hate Minya. That's probably the main reason why I don't like this film. I hate him. That little shit needs to die. I hate him. I, I hate. I hate Minya. The Shroyal Monsters. If this was meant to be the last Godzilla film, I would be pretty goddamn disappointed. This is not how you end the 
show uh, and I'm glad they made a lot of money at the box office, so they decided to continue to show Ella. But if this was the last show because of the film, I would be goddamn disappointed. Yes, there's so many monsters on this is the second that's the second to most monsters on screen. With Ghidorah, Godzilla, Inguis, Rodan, Mafia, Gorosaurus, Baragon, Minya, Kimanga, Manda. Wait, did it? I think I'm forgetting one. And Varan, and wait, Godzilla, Inguis, Rodan, Mafia, Gorosaurus, Minya, Kimanga. Manda, Varen, Baragon, and Ghidorah. It has 11 monsters in this film, but... Even with 11 monsters, this film is not good. The only thing that's good about this film is the city destruction scene with... Actually, no, not the city destruction scene. It's the final battle. The final battle is worth a mission. It's so cool. I will admit the final battle is amazing. Besides the final battle, none of it's cool. It's pretty boring. The human storyline is boring. I do not care for a single one of these human characters. They're just boring. I probably would put it above... I probably would put it above Destroy Invasion of the Ashes Monsters. Yeah, I probably would put it above... Vision of the Astro Monsters. Yeah. Vision of the Astro Monsters. I mean, Shroud Monsters is pretty boring. As well as Revenge. The worst cause of the film in the franchise. The absolute. It's an atomic disaster for me. <laughs> it's an atomic disaster for me. I think it's the worst cause of the film in the entire film franchise. It pretty much is the worst, in my opinion. Yeah, this is this is just bad. It, it's just bad. Yeah, it, it's not good. It's not good whatsoever. It's the worst because of the film, in my opinion. I just don't love this film. Uh, I'm going to say my piece on it. I will never watch this film unless I have a really shitty day, have a really shitty day at work, or a really shitty day at period. I need something to rage at, and that's unhealthy. <laughs> yeah, that's the only way you're going to get me to watch this film. This is my rage film, to be honest. Because of the door, I just fall asleep to I'm not going to lie. Last time I watched it, I fell asleep. I legit fell asleep to this film. It was so boring. I just fell asleep to this film. I just couldn't gravitate it. I fell asleep. It's boring. I just don't like it. It It's the most overrated guts of the film, in my opinion. I don't understand the love this film gets. Yes, when Hidora is killing people, it's pretty cool. When he's killing people, that's pretty cool. But the film's pretty weird and very weird. This is... Also, if this is an environmental message, I think the film should have been more about Abbas's on drugs <laughs> because you feel like you're on drugs when watching this film. Yeah. I don't think it's dark at all. I think I do think it's still a little bit too cheesy. And yes, it does kind of take itself seriously, but it's it's weird. It's the weirdest cuts of the film, and I just don't like this film. It's just no. I hate it. I I hate it. With this being a zero out of ten, I'll probably give this one a one out. Oh, let me get my ratings for this. Um, ten out of ten. Um, so it's at 6.5 out of 10, 7 out of 10, 7 out of 10, uh, 
squats and four four point five out of ten. Three out of ten, three out of ten. Yeah. Because of the store is like a one out of ten. And yeah, that's just it's just bland in my opinion. I just can't gravitate to this film. I just don't like it that much. It's probably the worst and worst because of from my opinion. I just don't like it at all. Now as for Godzilla's Gigan and Godzilla's Megalon, I have a soft spot for Gigan, Jet Jaguar, and Gears. Maybe not Ghidorah because I will agree with Chris they do do dirty. But I do like Ghidorah in this film. I don't know. I think the final battle of this film is pretty cool. Um, the final battle of this film. I feel the same e about these film. I do would put Godzilla's day in about this film. I would put Godzilla's day in about this film. But yeah, because of his guy again, the characters are meh. I don't really care much. And because of his Megalon, I don't gravitate. Towards the character, especially the kid character, he's so goddamn annoying. And because of this guy again, the only character I actually do care about in that film is the main character's girlfriend. That's the only character I actually do like in this film. Because she's pretty cool, it has a cool personality. I actually wish the movie was more about her than the character we did focus on. Ignore. Yeah, I just don't. I just don't like watching this film. And because of his Megalon, <sighs> Dropkick is cool. The Final Battle is cool. I just don't love this film. I'm not a particularly a big Shaw fan because, as you notice, a lot of the Shaw films are dislike, hate, and the time to test. <laughs> I just don't like the Shaw, uh, to be honest. I'm not a fan for sure. I think from 1965 to 1973, they're all terrible, in my opinion. But with that said, when we get to the duology, peak. It is peak. Let me just. We get to the duology peak. And let me just put Telemachus on there too. Because that is also peak Shoah. I mean, peak is peak Shoah. I love the Megazord well, duology. It's easily one of the best duologies. Yeah. The best mech, it's the best theology in the franchise. It's, well, it's the best Mechazilla films. One of the best. Actually, I don't hate any of the Mechazilla films, except for the only one I don't. The weakest Mechazilla film, in my opinion, is Tokyo SOS, but this one, I love. I love this film. It is both of these films. This one is so over the top and so bad crazy. It's so fun and cheesy. It's a good kind of cheese to enjoy. It's easily peak show for me. Peak show up when it comes to show up. Yeah. And after like after like Eight duds in a row, they decide to finally take themselves seriously and like, you know what? We gotta stop pulling these duds. We need to take ourselves seriously. And for the 20th anniversary, they went all out after like eight 
freaking duds in a row. They pulled themselves together. They made a good goddamn film. And Terra Met Godzilla, if this was the final Godzilla film, I would be satisfied, to be honest. I wouldn't mind. If this was the final Godzilla film, it ended on a good note. Terra Met Godzilla, I love the characters, especially Katsu's character. Her character is the most tragic character in any of the Godzilla films. I love her character, and I do hold a special place because I did meet the actor for Katsura at a G-Fest, so it holds a very special place in my arm, in my arms. I did meet the actor for my Godzilla in this, at G-Fest. I did. I did. Yeah. Love this film. Return of Godzilla. Uh, yeah. Moving to the Heisei era, which is these five here. And technically, Trisol's part of the Mario. I know people say, Trisol's a part of Mario. It's his whole thing. Along with the Godzilla animated series. No. Oh, so if I was going to put Hannibal Bear on here, I'll probably put him like. Or I think it's meh. I don't. Mind the Hannibal Pearl stuff. I think it's meh. Eh. Meh. Paterna Godzilla. I'm gonna put that up there. And I. It's not my favorite Godzilla film, like Goji fans, but. I'll probably put it in. Yeah, I put it above these three right here. It's. I love it. It's good. I love this one. It's one of the best of the Heisei era and brought it back to its roots and had a dog its own. Easily one of the best in the entire franchise. And I just love this film. It's I love and my favorite character in this film is the Prime Minister. I just love his I just love the Prime Minister in this film. I think he's one of the best Prime Ministers that we have in any Godzilla film. He is the best Prime Minister. He is one of the best because of how he takes his job seriously. I think he's one of the best Prime Ministers that we had. I love the Prime Minister in this film. And the speech that he has both versions of the film. And in Godzilla 1985, I'm not gonna lie, I don't agree with people saying, I don't agree with Chris saying that that is a letdown from the 1984 version. And like with most people, it's just a bastard version of 1984. But 1984. It's good. It's good. Also, King Limbers, King of the Monsters. Because of the King of the Monsters, I don't mind. I probably put that one in S and not S. I mean A. I'll probably put that one along with, along with the Rainbow version. If it wasn't here, I'll probably put it in A. But with that said, because it was by Lante. I know Chris is going to hate me for this, but. I. I love it more than Return of Godzilla. I think it's better than Return of Godzilla. In my opinion, I think it's way better than Return of Godzilla. Don't get me wrong, I do love Return of Godzilla, but Return of. Both. It's a perfect sequel to the previous film and has a good continuity and brought and introduced Mickey, who's one of the best characters in the franchise. And yeah, this is easily one of the best of the films. And easily peak. And the Tunnel Godzilla as much. Yeah, this one is a little bit better. I do enjoy this one. 
Yeah, I love it. It's good. Ah, boy. Oh, boy. People are gonna hate me for this. I don't like Godzilla vs. King of War. I hate it. I think it's the most overrated Heisei film and the overrated, most overrated because of film in general. With Godzilla vs. King of I do think that film is also overrated, but not as much as Godzilla vs. King of War. Because of Godzilla vs. I do think that film is overrated, but not as much. As Godzilla versus King Ghidorah. I swear to God, this gets the most praise. And people say it's the best in the franchise. I'm sorry. It's not. It's not. They are legitimately repeating. When the city destruction scenes come on, I don't love them. They're probably the worst city destruction scenes in the Heisei era. It took a very good gun raid. And it's legit them. Pe- they're legit using some of the same sets from the previous film. They're using some of the same sets. Actually, pretty much all the same sets. And they're using... And they're just shooting them at different angles. That's pretty much it. The only difference is that the Tokyo Tower is there. That's pretty much it. They're using a lot of the same sets. And... Don't get me wrong, the kaiju action is pretty good. But the human story, I just don't gravitate so I just hate it. It's just so bland to me. I just don't care. I try to give this one some love, but I just don't gravitate it towards it. I hate this film. I just don't love it. It's the worst... I wouldn't say it's the worst Heisei film. It's probably one of the two only duds in Heisei film. I just don't love this film. I hate it. I don't. I wouldn't say I hate it. I dislike it. I don't love this film. And, um, it was Mafa. I mean, it's Mafa Battle of Earth. What? Can you help me? There's a spider in the kitchen. One second. Okay. Sorry, my sister wanted me to kill spiders, so sorry about that. <laughs> anyway. What was I? Let's watch my top. Oh, yeah. Because it was Balante. Oh, not because it was Balante. Because it was. And Godzilla Mafia. Worse than the, the absolute worst in the Heisei era. From, yeah, these two films, I do think, are the two dud, the only two duds in the Heisei era. I just don't love these films in particular. <laughs> I don't love them. Don't get me wrong, Ghidorah is cool. It's nothing to do with the kaiju action that we get. It's mostly the city destruction scenes and uh, and the human characters. They just don't gravitate towards me. I just don't love, particularly love the human characters in these films. They're just, and this one's just basically an Indiana Jones whip off. <laughs> They're just an Indiana Jones whip off. And this one's basically time travel, which I still to this day, I don't understand why people can't understand this time travel part. It doesn't take a rocket science to figure this time travel part out. Basically, Godzilla has traveled to the past. They travel, they use a time machine to get rid of Godzilla by transporting Godzilla source to the present day, to somewhere in the, somewhere near Russia and Alaska. But they create a Godzilla 
with this. And for some reason, people think there's a split timeline. I don't agree with that theory. Did they make a split timeline? I actually agree with the time. I don't know. The timeline, the time travel part doesn't take a rocket science to figure out. The split timeline theory, where the events of the previous two films never happen, but then again, the events of the previous two film did happen. And basically, the time this time travel part is basically saying that didn't erase any past events. Those two films happened, and it created a split timeline. That's basically what this timeline, this time travel part is saying, and created a new Godzilla. That's about it. I don't understand the time travel plot. It's. I don't understand why people can't understand this time travel plot. It's pretty easy to figure out. You got Zilla versus Martha Battle for Earth. Don't laugh. I hate this film. It's the worst in the franchise. It's the worst Heisei film. I hate it. I hate it. Yeah. Let me make the screen a little bit smaller. There we go. Anyway. Godzilla vs. Mechazilla, the 20th film in the franchise, and also the technically, the, technically the 20th, the 70th, the 40th anniversary, even though this one's a 40th anniversary. This one, I love. I love this film. It's so good. I love this film. It's one of the best in the Heisei era. Mechazilla himself, I'm not particularly a fan of. Well, that's not true. I do think I love this version of Mechazilla a little bit more than the show. <laughs> well, yeah. <sighs> Okay, this is probably... I, I I do love this version of Metal's Love for some reason. I do kind of love it more than the show, to be honest. I'm not saying the show it was bad. I just love this version of Metal's Love for some reason. I don't know why. But, yeah. And Rodan and Baby Godzilla and Godzilla. So apparently Rodan is Godzilla's cousin? Brother? How's that work? Okay, Rodan is technically not related to Godzilla. It's technically a different species. Rodan is just Baby Godzilla's half-brother. It's not well, not half brother. It's just basically a cuckoo bird, like basically gets a little, a female gets a little raid him in a nest with him in a rodent nest, a pteranodon's nest. So yeah, that's basically how you describe it. Yeah, I love this film. It's pretty good and. This easily has one of the best soundtracks in the entire franchise. I love the soundtrack to this, especially the Mikazilla theme and Kazova's Rodan theme. Love the soundtrack. Because of Space Kazilla. I like. I, I take Space Kazilla. I did that one. Because of this space, because I do like, I do think it's good. 
in my opinion, I do think it's one of the. It's probably one of my favorites in the Heisei. Probably top five. Probably in the top five of the Heisei. I do. Don't get me wrong. I do love the Heisei. This one, I'll probably give it six out of ten. Most I should probably give my rating. Uh, eight out of ten. Actually, eight point five out of ten. Eight out of ten. Nine out, nine point one out of ten, nine point three out of ten, nine point four point nine out of ten, um, three out of ten, nine point six out of ten, and this is a six point five out of ten. But yeah, actually, I should probably put this above. Means again, yeah. I don't particularly. Yeah, I'll probably put it above things again. I do think it's like the middle of the franchise. I don't mind this film. It's good. You can tell it was running out of ideas, like Space Godzilla. Ooh, Mogira, don't care for. I was actually. Actually, we've cursed some of his parts with Space Godzilla. Godzilla vs. Destroyer. And let's get. I don't. I do find this film. I do care for the characters in this film, especially Yuki. He's an interesting character. Actually, I don't mind the characters in this film. I actually do enjoy the characters in this film. I actually, enjoy this film. It's a pretty good film. And Godzilla was sure. It's not with disaster. I hate this film. I hate this film. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know how I feel about this film. It's my favorite Godzilla. It's my favorite Heisei Godzilla film. It's probably the best Heisei Godzilla film, in my opinion. I know Chris is going to say, no, what's going to be the best Heisei film? No, this one is. For one reason only. The ending and the, how the story takes itself, it's so dark. It is so dark. This is, and it's kind of funny that they go back to the roots from, yeah. This is easy, the dog, even though most of the Hayes era does take itself seriously, with the exception of the door versus Godzilla versus King of Door and Godzilla and Martha, Battle for Earth. Those ones don't take themselves seriously. That's probably why I don't love them in particular. But because of us, and because of us, it's a little bit tense. It's kind of a mixture of silliness and seriousness. A mixture of both. Because of us, Nekaza definitely takes itself seriously. Because of us, Balante takes itself seriously. But because of us, Destroyer is so sad and tragic. And I do enjoy the characters in this film. And the characters are pretty interesting. I even though I don't remember the names besides Mickey. I do enjoy the characters in this film. I think it's probably one of the best Godzilla films, and the kaiju action is pretty good. And the final battle, even though many people, even though some people do say the show is a big weak, in my opinion, I do think this is the most powerful, most powerful kaiju. But I wouldn't say the most powerful kaiju, because I do think um, the monsters, the doors, most powerful because of kaiju, and yeah, yeah, I do think the monsters, the doors, most powerful. Just speak just to the sheer power level he is, and he can literally terraform the weather of the planet to his liking. He can literally terraform the planet to his liking, yeah. He can literally, just his mere presence alone can literally make storms across the world. Yeah, he's overpowered. And he can literally start a mass awakening, wiping out humanity. Yeah, he's pretty overpowered. And Deliver's Destroyer, but Deliver's Destroyer, I, I love. 
I love it. It's I and the only and the main reason I love it is because of the ending. To this day, it still makes me cry. Every time I watch it, it still makes me TV. It still makes me cry. It still makes me cry to this day. It is the saddest movie in the franchise. It still makes me cry. You can't have a soul if that doesn't make you cry. Seeing Godzilla die is so sad. It's one of I love this film. It's easy the best in the Heisei era. Also, speaking of the design of the Heisei era, speaking of the designs of Godzilla, I, I'm not going to bring it up in the series. I do. But I'll probably make another tier list saying what I feel about the designs in the future. Maybe. Because this is a show I do love. I do love the Burning Godzilla design. It's probably one of my favorite Godzilla designs. Probably in the top three nuts of the If I had to rain. Okay, I'll just say my top five. Number one, of course, is Final Goji. Number two is Burning Godzilla. Number three. Is a Heisei Godzilla number four? Is nineteen seventy three Godzilla? And number five is nineteen is G. Uh, Miragoji. To be honest, those are my top five favorite Godzilla designs. Burning Godzilla is probably my second favorite Godzilla, is probably my second favorite Godzilla design that's to Final Goji, just because of how cool it looks. It's like I just love Burning Godzilla. It's probably one of my favorite Godzilla designs. Actually, pretty much the entire Godzilla is one of the most iconic designs. Even though Final Goji is probably my favorite because of the design. This one's probably yeah. The is the most iconic design and well the Heisei Godzilla is probably the most iconic design. From nineteen eighty nine to nineteen ninety four that's probably the most iconic design. The Burning Godzilla is one of my favorite designs. Yeah, it's probably one of the, yeah, I like him. And Destroyer, yeah, and this movie's so sad. I love this film. It's probably peak Heisei for me. And then we get, and also if this was the final film, I'll be goddamn satisfied. Yeah. But... Godzilla 1988. Um, also, this is a 10 out of 10 for me. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Also, Godzilla 1988. Oh, boy. Uh, 2 out of 10. I hate this film. It's a time of disaster for me. I don't love it. I hate it. I hate it. I don't understand the love this film gets in recent years. Yeah, I can't. I'm one of those people who can't move on from the hate that this film gets because it gets hate for good reasons. Yeah. I think it's one of the. If this is the first take that you took from the America, this is easy. And this. Okay, I love the ideas that America had for past Godzilla designs. For past Godzilla laws. Like, it went all the way back to the day. I love those designs of Godzilla. And the design for Godzilla 1994, that was going to be a good design. Even we used trade for that. I love those designs for Godzilla. This Godzilla, I hate. It's so... It's probably my least... But I wouldn't say Lee's favorite. I think Son of Godzilla is probably my least favorite Godzilla design. But actually, you know what? No. This Godzilla is probably my least favorite Godzilla design. I hate it. I hate the design. It's the 
worse because of the design. It does not look anything like God's law. It doesn't look nothing like God's law. Does he be fire? No. Well, technically, he has flammable breath. But this doesn't really come out of his mouth. It's just flammable breath. Does he... Is he vulnerable to the military? No. Does he attack the military? No. Is he indestructible? No. He runs away like a coward. Because he doesn't run away from a fight. No. 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 He does not run away from the military. He's opposed to fight the military. And also, Dean Emmett said he doesn't like Azula. Yeah, I can. Yeah, you can definitely tell in this film that he doesn't like Azula. He doesn't treat the character well. I'm so glad that they did it well in the Monsterverse. I'm so glad they improved them in the Monsterverse. Because I will agree that Godzilla is a way better American Godzilla. But this Godzilla, no. Just no. Just no. 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 no, no, no. This is the worst Godzilla film. And yes, I do consider this a Godzilla film. I do not consider it as a Zilla film. I consider it a Godzilla film. And even when you consider it as a Godzilla film, like you should, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It hurts to say me. It's, it's bad. Now, Godzilla 2000, technically decided more. I do consider choice. I do consider the trace all stuff. Also, I was going to put the animated series on here. I'll probably put it in S tier, to be honest. I do like the animated series. Because it's 2000. I... I'll probably put it above the neck as well. But, God, dream. I probably rank it above the Mechals of the Archie. But I love this film. I love it. I love it. I love this film. Also, I'm going to get to that. Because of 2000, I love the human characters. I love the film. And I especially love the American version, especially of how silly it is. How silly some of the dialogue is. It's pretty funny. It's probably the most anime-ish Godzilla like It's like a live action anime Godzilla film, but it's not anime. There's no anime on it. It's a live action Godzilla film. Yeah, I love this film. And Godzilla was... I love this film. It's probably... And I love the design of Mio Goji. I just... Also, people were saying that it's pink. No, it's purple. They literally said in the past that it's purple. In designs, I, it's purple. It's purple. It's not pink. It's purple. Stop saying it's purple, peep. Stop saying it's pink just because you see, just because it looks similar to, no, it's purple. It's purple, not pink. Purple. No, not pink. Stop saying it's pink. It's really purple. But I love this movie. It's a pretty good movie. I love it. It's one of my favorite Godzilla. It's one of my most rewatched Malayama Godzilla films. I, and plus, I do think this is my mom's favorite Godzilla film. And she did say that's her favorite design of Godzilla. So that's cool. So this is my uh, It's a guilty pleasure of mine. I'm not gonna lie. It's a guilty pleasure. It's a guilty pleasure. <laughs> I I don't know what it is with this film. It's a guilty pleasure of mine. I love this film. It's a guilty pleasure. It's a guilty pleasure of mine. I love this film. It's a guilty pleasure of mine. I... <sighs> I just don't know what it is with this film. I just love it. I think I think it's just because this movie tries to take itself way too seriously that it's 
that's kind of funny <laughs> of how serious it takes it takes itself way too seriously of how over top the plan is that it's kind of funny at times i don't i just love this film for some reason and mechagibus is a cool kaiju even though it's basically a bug but it's a cool kaiju i've already met and the final battle awesome as hell probably i'm not gonna lie it's probably one of my favorite because of the battles and i just love the soundtrack that plays throughout it you know that's probably my one of my favorite soundtracks in Eagles of Foam. It's a good soundtrack. It's also because of the Wizard of has a good soundtrack, in my opinion. Actually, any guys of them has a good soundtrack, except for, except for Junkie uh, Tell's soundtrack. Also, I love this. I love it. I love this film. Maybe the human cast is not, is not memorable, though. It's pretty okay. Serviceable human cast, but I love it. GMK, perfect. Oh, let me move this over a little bit. So, I do my GM, I'll leave it there. GMK, the best of the one ammo, not including my boy Final Wars, which is right here. <laughs> Easy 10 out of 10. Also, this is a 6.5 out of 10. And this is 6.5 so out of 10. 6.5. And a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. But I love this film. It's so good. And also, Yui, probably the, one of the best human casts ever. Probably the one of the most best female leads, in my opinion. Also, yeah. And also, that's because of the film. Because of a bit of a downgrade from the previous film, but I wouldn't say by much. I do love the human soy, though. And I would say this is the best. Me- well, these two tend to stretch back and forth, but this one's probably the best mechanism of the film, in my opinion. One of the best Mechazo films. Yeah, I love it. And Jim K, I love I love the story, the human story. Probably one of the favorites. One of the best human stories. I do care for it. And it was made by a pacifist. And Tsuji Kakiano's films, Kaiju films, all four of his Kaiju films are peak but i do think this one is his best i know that's not saying much because i do enjoy the heisei gamma stuff guardian universe is probably the weakest in the in the heisei gamma trilogy i wouldn't say it's bad i wouldn't say that it's not bad advanced legion and gamma of avenger virus I don't those I don't know which one's my favorite out of those two. I do love them both. I do love them both. I love them both equally. But GMK is the best of Trisha Keanu's film. It's his best cousin. It's his best film. From the Kaiju films. Yeah, one of his best. Yeah, one of his best. And I love this film. It's so good. Bergon, I love. Godot, I love. Marfa, probably one of my favorite Marfa designs. This, yeah, probably my favorite Marfa design, right? That's soon. The Tokyo SOS Marfa and Final Roger Marfa. Right next to the 2003 2004 Marfa. 
probably one of my favorites. Actually, you know what? It's probably my favorite mouth in the sign. Ever cannot be in this movie. I do think it has the best female lead, and I also got to meet the female lead. Even though I went completely shy on her and probably scared her. Sorry about that. I just didn't know what to say. I probably scared her a little bit. I legit got freaked out. I legit freaked out on her. And I got scared. I just didn't know what to say. She was like one of my childhood icons. I was so scared. <laughs> I was legit scared and terrified when I met her. I was like, uh, I, yeah, I'm yeah, um, thank you. Thank you very, uh, that's all I can say. That's literally all I can say. Thank you very much. I didn't know what to say. To her. Uh, she was one of my childhood icons. I was scared. I, I, she's one I looked up to, and she's pretty relatable. I, yeah, she's one of my childhood icons. <sighs> Akane, or not the. Shoto scared them. I, I don't know how you pronounce her name. But Akane, easy one of the best human characters. And easy the best female lead. One of the best. So how I just realized that Godzilla was Megiris, GMK, and Godzilla against Megazilla all have female leads. And they're like three, and they're like back to back. Hmm, that's pretty interesting. Even though I think Akane is probably one of the best of the female leads of these three right here. But eh. And Tokyo SOS. Don't particularly love. I don't really love this. So, I think I wouldn't say I dislike. I will say it's meh. <laughs> I do think it's the only dud in the haste in the millennium. Era. The only dud in the millennium, era, in my opinion. The only dud in the millennium. Era. The only dud. I do think it's the only dud in the millennium. Era. I do think it's probably the weakest in the millennium. Era. Mostly because it's such a downgrade from Godzilla against my Godzilla. Because I do agree with Chris that this is easy, the main, the best my Godzilla film because it's the only Godzilla film that has just Godzilla and my Godzilla. This film, on the other hand, has Mafia in it. Mafia, I love. In this film, I don't mind Mafia, but. It's such a dumb movie from previous film. I don't particularly love this film. In my opinion. I don't particularly love this film in my opinion. I do think it's probably the weakest. And I don't love it. I hate it. I I wouldn't say I hate it. I think it's meh. The first meh. The first meh. Well, that's it. Final Wars. Atomic Disaster. I hate this film. This is the worst because of the film. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. It's Atomic Disaster. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You all know how I feel about this film. I'm said in the past that this is my, that this is the best Godzilla film ever made because of how fun. Okay, I wouldn't say it's the best Godzilla film ever made, but it's my favorite Godzilla film ever. My favorite Godzilla film. It's I don't know what it is with this film. I just love how over the top it is, how crazy it is, how bonkers. I rewatched this film recently. And I love it. I love it. It's the 
best. I think this is like my most rewatched Lyman film, my most rewatched Godzilla film, period. Minus to pretty much all the films in us and A and B and the one. Well, yeah. I do love this film. It's so memorable. I love this film. It's so good. It's peak. It's peak. I don't understand the hate that this film gets. It bothers me why people hate this film. I agree. With, I don't understand it. I don't. I just don't. I don't. I just don't. Yeah, I love it. I, I love it. As for 2014... Um, meh, 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 meh. Don't we? Okay, don't get me wrong. I do have a nostalgia place for this film because this was my first because of the film, technically, if you want. It's my first Godzilla film I saw in theaters back in May 16th, 2014. This is my first Godzilla film I saw in theaters. And easily, I was mind blown. <laughs> but over time, I hate it. It was an S tier. Then it moved to like. Then meh. And for me, it was kind of almost in dislike. But now, it's just me. I... Don't get me wrong, it's not a bad film. Not far from it. Which let me just change this up a little bit. I wouldn't say I hate this film. Let me just change that up. Because I do... I do like this film. Don't get me wrong. Let me just put that in there. Yeah, I put Veins again above 2014. <laughs> People are going to get mad about that. I don't mind this film. I like it. I wouldn't put in S, though. I don't love this film entirely. It does have its problems. So, the monarch shows in here, too. I'll probably just put that in S, because I do love the monarch show. Had a soul start. I do love singing of mine too. Should we just put your bat down there? I'll give it to you when I get to you. I do love this film. And I got it. I will say this if it wasn't for this film, we wouldn't have. Shin Godzilla, the anime trilogy, single point, or Godzilla minus one. We wouldn't have any of those if it wasn't for that. If it wasn't for this film. None of this would exist. We'd probably still be in a drop. We'd probably still be in a drop. Imagine if 2014 never happened and <laughs> we were still in the drought to this day. Like, imagine if it was like a 20 year drought. But yeah, this is easy because I remember I grew up in the day where there was nothing, nothing in the Godzilla franchise. I mean nothing. From 2004 all the way to 2014, there was absolutely nothing. Yes, we did get a Godzilla Unleashed game. That was cool. You got a little Dumbo Smash. That was cool, but it came and go. It just came in and go. It went by so fast. I didn't really care much for it. Didn't care much for it. It just came and go. Went by fast. Yeah. Well, Godzilla Unleashed, I do care for it. At least the PS2 version. I never played the Wii, so 
I do care for that PS2 version. But Godzilla 2014, it's the most planned, most boring, most. Well, the characters I do, besides Full Body, I don't really care for. Brian Canson's character, the kill like halfway through. The only characters I care about are Vent Cells, not Vent Cells, but Shiro Cells are. But the Cells are character, and. Pretty much the Cells are character, and. Sir Grant, Dr. Grant's character, and Admiral Spence, and the Admiral character. I do care for those characters, but most of the cats I don't care for. They're basically just planned military characters. I really don't care much for them. And Shin Godzilla. Yeah, but this film, 2014, if it wasn't for 2014, we wouldn't have the way whatever or any Godzilla film. After it. And Shin Godzilla Love. Ah, uh, pipe it in my pipe it in right here. Right there. Yeah, right there seems fine. I'll put it in my top sets. It did grow in my opinion. I do love it more than these films. I do love it more than the AC films, and I do think it's really good. I love this film. It's, it, yeah. It's pretty original. I do love how they pull. I do love the politics in the film, and funny fact, um, my mom hates this film. She hates it. She thinks it's the worst because of the film, in my opinion. She thinks it's the worst because of the film, in her opinion. She just doesn't love this film. She, if she was making a tier list, she'd probably put in a top disaster along with Godzilla's Revenge. But, yeah. There we go. My favorite Godzilla film. One of my favorite reviews of 9.9 out of 10. Also, this is a 9.8. 10 out of 10. 6 out of 10. Five out of ten. Also, this film is so good. I love it. I love how good it is. Yeah, I love it. It's a good film. However, the same cannot be said. Planet of the Monsters, uh, Meh. Same with this one. Meh. Also, City on Age Battle. It's hate. I hate this film.
I don't mind this film. It's pretty okay. Okay, Planet of the Monster had a promise. Planet of the Monsters had a promising salt, like most people say. It was good. It was average. It's meh. But then we got to City on the Edge Battle. Absolute trash. <laughs> and then Planet Eater. I'll probably put it up above. I'll probably put that above Planet of the Monsters. I do think it's better than Planet of the Monsters. But yeah. I do think it's way better than Planet of the Monsters. And I think it's the best in the end. Except for the ending. The ending sucked. <laughs> it just sucked. Like, Carwell just basically killed himself. I understand the reasoning why he killed himself to stop Ghidorah from coming back, but... Did he have... So, you tell me that all that... From all we went through, all he did... All that through these films, he just kills himself again. Why? Okay. Um, but, not, whatever. Because looking at the monsters, I don't agree with this on this one. I do think it's pretty good. I wouldn't put it in my top 10. But it's good. It's good in my opinion. Just the monarch shows in here. I'm just going to put the monarch show right there for now King, King of the Monsters is perfect it's perfect perfect I love this film it's so good it's so Good. I love it. I love it. It's so good. It's pit ultimate when it comes to Godzilla films. Also, because this is Kong. Um, because looking at the monsters I love. It has the best care best versions of these characters. Rodan, Ghidorah, and Martha. You know, the best version of these characters. And Godzilla himself. He's so cool and badass in this film. I love this film. Also, I know people don't tend to like the human story. I find it funny. I don't mind it. It's not as bad. The human, the comedic belief, it's not as bad as it is in GBK. Yeah. The comedy is not as bad as it is and as it would be in GBK. <laughs> to be honest. I don't mind this one. It's pretty good. GBK, on the other hand. Yeah. Don't find it, man. So, what party put? Just to be fair. And also, I'm just going to say the same thing for GSK. I feel the same way about these films that I do. GVK and GSK, pretty much the same. -y. I honestly don't care for these films. GSK is just there. It's just there. I just don't love this film. I hate this film. I just don't love it. Five out of ten. Five out of ten. Five out of ten. <laughs> five out of ten. Five out of ten. Three out of ten. But yeah, GVK and G. I've which one put GSK about that one? The G movement. I need something. But not funny either. But. GBK. <sighs> Look, I just played so cool. Got back on screen, it's pretty cool.
but I really don't for this one. Also, I was one of those people who was hoping for a three-way battle. That would have been cool, but nope. They did a Batman with Superman thing. I don't love this film. It's so bad. I hate it. They tell me that Godzilla... Why couldn't you just have Godzilla and Kong fight each other? Why did they need Mechazilla? I feel like they could have saved Mechazilla for a later film, not this film. They should have saved them for a later film. They should have saved them for a later film, not this film. Why? Just why? Ugh. No, just no. I don't particularly love this film. But seeing a point on the other hand, I know people hate me for this. I show this because I love it a lot. <laughs> but I love seeing your point. Same could be said for the Monarch show. Love. Seeing your point is weird ideas. It's so bonkers and weird. I still don't understand what goes on that show. Well, sort of. I kind of grasp what's going on in that show. I kind of grasp it, but I love it. I love it. I love it. I've seen it three times, and I love it. I love it. It's good. I love it. It's amazing. The Monarch Show, on the other hand, don't. It had a soul start. The first three episodes, I didn't care much for. It wasn't until, like, episode four... Episode 4 to 10, I do enjoy. First few episodes, I didn't really care much for, to be honest. I think it was around episode 4 is when I actually started to care about the show. I think it was when the father got introduced. It's funny revealed in episode 4 is when I started to care for the show. <laughs> yeah, it had a slow start. Interesting middle. And a good ending. It, I do enjoy the Monarch show. It's pretty good. And it was grounded. It was serious. It was like 2014 film, but better. <laughs> That's a nice one. Let me just put that right there. The best Gardens of Love film ever. When I saw this movie in theaters, I was blown away. And to be honest, if it wasn't for the nostalgia factor that got the final awards has, this would have been number one. But I'm sorry, this film's so good. I wouldn't say it's my favorite though. This one's my favorite. It will always be one of my favorite. But minus one is the best cause of the film. It's even better than fifty four. Yeah, I love this film. One of the best. It gave me everything I wanted in a Godzilla film. Everything. Everything I wanted in a Godzilla film. It gave me everything I wanted in a Godzilla film. Damn near. It made me cry at the end. It made me cry. I was crying at the end. I was crying at the end because of how sad I was throughout the film. It wasn't because of the ending. I just cried. I literally cried at this film because of how sad it is. Yeah, I cried. I cried. I cried in my first viewing. I love this film. Jets K on the other hand. Yeah. It's there. Something. Don't care for it. Do not care for it at all. Do not love this film. To me, change this up a little bit. Man, I'll leave it like that. Do not care 
for GSK whatsoever. I think it's the weakest of the monster first. Well, not the weakest. If you if you want to technically include the weakest in the monster first, I would say that I want to go to Skull Island. This is the second weakest in the monster first. But to Skull Island. Not Khan Skull Island, I mean Skull Island the anime. Skull Island the anime is probably the weakest. And if it was on this tier list, it would probably be in hate. <laughs> Well, not hate, I would say dislike, but I do not care for GSK whatsoever. Hate it. Don't care much for it. It's so... It's just there. It's there. None of the human characters are unchanged, except for Jaya. Okay, I will say that Jaya in both of these films are pretty interesting. She's a pretty interesting character. She's probably the best character in both of these films. But besides her, none of the human characters are interesting. I really don't gravitate to those. Um, I honestly don't care for this film. It's there. And I can't compare this to the minus one because there's no comparison whatsoever. They're completely different films. But GSK is there, just there. Don't care for it. It's there. Well, that's that. That's my tier list. So I should probably put single point up here. I made them. Probably put single point right here. I want to push you right here. Should I put, probably put single point. Yeah, I'll Yeah, I enjoy this one because of stuff. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> well, if that's it, that's my tier list. I put way too many in. Do you maybe change this up a little bit? Maybe that's a little bit better. But yeah, that's my deal is in Goji Fan style.
But yeah, that's my tier list. Angle defense style, or similar to go defense style. <laughs> I don't know. With that said, I'm going to end it here. So this is a great sign off. And remember, stay bad, G fans. I'm going to save this, download it. So yeah, let's see that. Stay big. Stay big, G fans. Don't get me wrong, I do love all these kinds of films. I am a guys of fan. I do love these films, but see you in the next one. Bye.